Now, I know it's hard to believe, but I take a lot of abuse from the social media trolls when I run this sort of platform. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, today's video is all about Renko, and it's a sneak peek behind the scenes, a look at my automated trading Renko system built off custom software that I want to show you and get into the detail of to hopefully inspire you to take Renko trading further and adopt it into your own world. But what about those trolls? Well, they actually inspired me to build this system in the first place because they would say, well, those who can uh, do and those who can't teach. Well, I thought I'd prove them wrong because I hopefully I fall into both camps and I built this system and in its first year it returned a 300% return. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Hopefully that kept a few of those trolls a bit quieter. But they're still around, giving me hassle. But, you know, I like to prove them wrong. So with that, I'm going to get into the detail of my system. And like I say, hopefully you can use some of those ideas yourself. So welcome to the Renko Trading System dashboard. And... I'm going to take you through that in much more detail soon, but this is an older version. It's one that I play around in, so the numbers, the data in there isn't up to date, is incorrect, but it's all about giving you an idea of how it works. So a bit more behind the idea first, and as you heard in the introduction, I talked about those trolls, so that inspired me to get building a system. Now... I decided from the outset that once live, I was going to run it for a year, then publish those results. And those results are out there in the bigger space that you can check up on if you so choose to. But I'm going to put them in here anyway. Now, this system, its first year, took a 300% return. Lowest since then is probably been about 50%. I use sharp ratios rather than percentage returns, but it gives you an idea of the sort of returns that this system has been making. It's been very kind to me over the years and like any system it has required constant maintenance, any strategy and that's a rule that you should always be thinking of if you're building this sort of system is you've got to keep on top of it, you always got to maintain your edge. Now what about the system itself? I wanted a systematic trading system that could trade all markets and allow full optimization for the user, which is going to be me. Um, risk profile, asset class, time frames, etc., etc., and it had to be trend following and trend reversing. Um, it had to be customizable to the trader. So what I wanted it to be is, you know, if I really just wanted to drive it manually, I could all the way through to being fully automated, i.e. it could you know, analyze the data, process that data, and then execute the trade all itself. So it's a bit like a Formula One racing car steering wheel where you can flick those buttons on and off to the settings that you require. Now, most of the time I've traded this version semi-automatically, and I still like to keep involved um, in the the trading and on top of that any strategy is only as good as the parts around it so I introduced also trade management concepts you know stops trade sizing optimal asset um, allocation for risk taking you know I put the whole kitchen sink into this to see what we could produce and as you can guess, I pretty much love the technical analysis world. So another thing I wanted to prove to people was actually a pure technical analysis system can also work. And this, although it has behavioral and fundamental data into it, all of that is also automated and programmed out. So in essence, that is also a technical analysis type of approach. So if I was summarising the mental model philosophy behind the system, it would be something like this. It would be by using an approach that takes time out of the equation by utilising 
Japanese charting techniques and automating it so that you can focus on better modeling, measuring, and taking advantage of price action, market and human behavior, participation and flow in different trading cycles and across any market. And hopefully this systematic approach should reduce, lessen the psychological interference and human bias on the trading results. So when building a system like this, planning from the outset, like in any business or endeavor, you know, you've got to put in the upfront work to get this, you know, idea off the drawing board and into fruition and working successfully. And you get it wrong here, that downstream of the project becomes a lot messier and a lot harder to put together and failure is probably more imminent. So I've got to answer many questions when doing this type of automated trading. The first one is data. And to me, that is one of the crucial elements of this system. We needed real time historical data in vast amounts to allow the system to scan virtually 24 five. And if you include cryptos, that makes it 24 seven. So that has its implications, you know, cost, storage, access, maintenance, availability. Then the development of the system, what language should it be built in? What is the best language for this sort of thing? And you know, if the system turned out to be successful, could I develop it in a way that it could be scalable for other end users? Now, the system itself, you know, using it, you know, the interface the look of it now i like formula one and i wanted it to be like i mentioned earlier a bit like one of those car steering wheels where you know it looks complex but actually it's a case of knowing what the buttons do and turning on and off according to what you want to achieve from it um from those who just want to play it for fun you know sitting there day trading all the way through to it being fully automated and then the strategy itself you know this is the crucial edge of the whole process defining testing and building uh, it's not as straightforward as it sounds i'm going to use a combination of various approaches different technical analysis and i think the secret here is to keep it as simple as possible um, and start from that level and I've got to answer other questions you know how am i going to test where the system works, how I'm going to measure performance, how will the assets be included into the system, because this is a multi-asset system covering all markets. Um, got to define a rigorous backtesting approach. How am I going to optimize the returns versus the risk? You know, what risk limits am I going to need? Um, what sort of you know trade sizes? And then it's that basic smart terminology, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time bound objectives and then some other thoughts on building this sort of system personnel who's going to be designing building it and then it's also a case of project mapping you've got to lay it out like a business plan the timelines the structure of putting this together right down to the micro parts and also forward thinking how like i mentioned earlier these strategies from what i've seen in the professional world lose their edge over time how are you going to keep it you know working how you're going to optimize it to maintain that edge how are you future proofing it so a lot to go into when coming up with you know what sounds like a simple idea and turning it into a fully you know fledged automated trading system so we've looked at the thought process, the considerations into building the strategy. What about the strategy itself? And as we've mentioned, it's all about the Renko charts. Now, those familiar with them will fully understand what the concept, the idea is behind. It is to get rid of time and focus in on the price movement. Those new to Renko want to learn more. I'll put a link at the end of this video where you can get stuck in and master the subject but for now all we need to know is it's Renko charts and it's taking out the noise of the trading and allowing us to create trend following and reversal strategies using purely technical analysis to take advantage of that price movement 
Now inside the main strategy, there's a couple of sub strategies um, built around different technical indicators which try and maximize PL, minimize drawdowns. And the technical indicators are all optimized during a back testing process, and only those assets that hit a certain criteria get into the live trade environment. And you know, it trades equities, commodities, forex, indices, cryptocurrencies, the whole bag, it's long and short. Our trade sizes are optimized again on that back test performance. So to create the optimal risk portfolio, we use trade management, stop levels, using historical volatility approach, and returns are compounded monthly, and that then builds up the trade sizes and the returns. And importantly, the technology. We're going to use Ruby on Rails. Now, very popular framework, um, web-based framework. Now, you'd expect me probably to say C++ or Python as the uh, weapons of choice, but I wanted to try something different. And Ruby on Rails does have its benefits. It's slightly easier coding, a bit more simplistic and scalable as well. Now, I do everything in Python, but I have a good friend who's very good at Ruby on Rails and I employed him to help me out in this project and build what you see today. So the technology was sorted and then we just got to then build in the um, you know, ability to semi-automate, fully automate or just you know, play around as a day trader inside that platform and those signals that we're going to need want them readily available 24 7 so they're going to be sent sms email and through an app so let's look at a pictorial overview of the system in the middle there we've got the system engine and that's where all the crunching number crunching trade creation happens and it needs some data we use an api to retrieve trading data and I got that from a broker and all this system needs is the open high low and close prices and the instrument codes to pull back and as you can see how the system works it's constantly analyzing and updating the back tests and performance portfolio information builds those strategies internally scanning signals 24 hours a day and it's going to inform me the trader whether to enter, exit, the money management variables and those signals like we've mentioned are passed out via the web platform, the app, EM, email or SMS. So with that basic overview, now let's get into the exciting part, which is the system itself. So welcome back to the cockpit, the dashboard, you know, the front page of where this web-based Renko system all works from. We're going to have a dig in now and go through the finer points of the system. I'm going to walk you around first of all the dashboard page. Now starting in the toolbar at the top, various different things you can do. We've got a tools tab that gives you a commitment of traders, seasonality, correlation information. I mean this is the engine part of the um, system. We've got risk filters, portfolio optimization tools in here, signal log so we can track the trades. This is the engine part, the stocks where all the back testing is done and we've got some results pages there as well. Portfolio sizing, that's where all the optimal trade sizing happens and then market overview which is just a simple your current snapshot of what is going on. But let's walk around this page first. Now in the top left here we've got the current trading signals with position and risk info guidance. Now remember this is an old system, it's not been updated probably for many many months now. Um, I've got a newer version but this is what I want to show you and take you through what we got now. It's pretty much the same, the newer version, just a bit more efficient but as I say we get in these signals here we got one for example the S&P 500 going long off this strategy here and inside that's going to give you your trade sizes, um, stop levels, you know, the performance of the back test, etc. etc. And as you scroll through, you can see all the different markets coming in. Now, here we've got different um, portfolios that you could pick. So, if you just wanted to trade FX, you could just turn on FX, and you can see the different markets that are 
in the current system at the moment in this version you see a lot of stocks indices cryptos um, all sorts of good mix of stuff going on you can see the signals whether they're long or short and the trends in there as well and the stars give us the system status whether the prices are updating real time so so we know that everything is okay now here in the bottom right we've got this risk management area so we can put in different variables in here um, which we can define the parameters of to start helping us formulate the position sizes according to the performance of the underlying backtest and then over here on the right we've got um, volatility type information to help us set the stops and up in the right here top right we got live PL trading again the numbers are completely wrong but I'll just put some stuff in there just to generate some um, data and you can see the amount you're risking on the trades the current profit and loss by individual trades and the overall portfolio so that gives you the front end now all these signals here on the left will go to um, text and email and app so you can always get them wherever you are but why did those trades get into this area why are we getting signals from here well it all comes down to the individual instruments that we are looking at so I've clicked on the stocks tab and you can see all the different instruments I've ever plugged in here for data analysis now we're going to look at an example we're going to pick on Bitcoin um, and as you can see here's all the data being pulled in down the bottom and you can see that it's all live it's all coming in okay and this is where we set our block sizes and this is our strategies we got a donkey in one here and a stochastic and they've got various inputs in between them uh, to create different strategies and we can see some basic Bitcoin information volatility uh, trend information that type of thing all helping us to put together these strategies now let's pick on one here we got this one called Bitcoin donkey and 600 well that's a 600 block size um, it's based around the donkey and a technical indicator you might have heard of it's got some moving average indicators in there as well the donkey has been delayed um, offset and these are the results that we got for the back test I think it's probably about three or four years here 1400 percent return on this one now we can drill into that to see how it actually looks now we click on there this is that individual um, trade and you can see where the buy and sells uh, signals are coming from again there's the data telling us what to do with the profit and loss and then it's a quick summary of here of the amount of points the percentage wins this is winning 62 percent of the time winning streaks losing streaks etc etc risk reward ratios and then we want to see the back test is it worth actually putting into the system whatsoever so we click on there and we just let it do a calculation now the red is the drawdown and um, it's the numbers on the right and there's the PL, which is this black line over the time and as you can see from that point on November 2020 really accelerated away so now that's the question do I want to put that into my portfolio if I do I then go back to the um, page here I make it live it adds into that dashboard that we saw at the front as it just updates into this part here and then those signals are off and running but what it's also going to do is look at the performance stats there and trade size it so if it's a weak strategy it will size it accordingly I use something called preference function to um, overlay I suppose the portfolio risk trade sizing methodology basically saying it, it sizes according to performance the diversification is well if it's winning it's winning we want to scale it up according to how successful it actually is and there's various other um, risk processes in there value at risk drawdown rules uh, all multi-layered to come up with that optimal risk sizing and the risk sizing looks something like this you can see that optimal straight line there on the chart you can see all the individual different positions put into that portfolio and you can see a range of sizes there from the biggest one which would be the best performers to the least um, successful and you optimize accordingly 
Now under the backtest tab, all the backtests I've ever run are all in here and all the information is downloadable into CSV and you can start to see the data of the you know, wins, losses, winning streaks, all that interesting stuff that can help you create the ultimate portfolio. And I I've created a couple of buttons here that allow you to build your own portfolios based on your risk preference. If you're risk averse, you can build a more stable portfolio of markets and vice versa. You can take on a lot more risk and build that and you can generate that portfolio and see what sort of returns it would have made over the back test and what you could expect moving forwards. Now I'm not going to go into the tools here, not relevant for this one, but we've got a correlation tab for example so I can measure correlation risk seasonality a lot of these instruments are very seasonal especially commodities so we can take advantage of strength and weakness there filter in and out of the portfolio commitment of traders another good futures tool to see which way around the big boys are playing at the moment currency strength for forex markets to see you know that like says the strength and weaknesses of individual currencies so a lot going on there we talked about portfolio sizing a bit then market overview the last sort of page nothing too exciting there just giving you an overview of what's going on movers shakers news rates that sort of thing so that is the overall look of the system and because it's really analyzing 24 7 it takes a lot of the screen watching away which i really really um, like because it allows me to do other stuff and i can choose or not choose to take advantage of these um, signals and if i really wanted to i could plug it in and make it fully automated and just let it do its stuff but i like to still keep involved and you know, i'll get these signals and choose when i'm not to trade so we've seen a bit about the background of the system let's now have a look at the results that it has been producing so after being lambasted by the social media um, trolls this is what the system achieved in its first year a near 300 percent return averaging 10 percent per month over a thousand traded across all markets win ratio 89 percent best trading month 29% worst trading month minus 8% now let's have a look at the stats in more detail just running through them clearly from the top left there 1045 trades won 930 of them 89% um, win ratio Kelly's criteria 24% max win streak 112 in a row max loss streak 5 average trade days 3 now the sweet spot was between uh, sort of minutes up to eight days again 279 percent you can start to see average winner average loss trade size return on investment sharp ratios all the data you need there we've got in the right hand side by different market effects indices commodities equities crypto all pretty much evenly spread out now to the bottom some charts for you um, p l returns how that shaped out the daily movements and the value at risk and results monthly where well, you can see how you know the year shaped out probably you know only a third of the year losing months and they all happen to happened randomly you can see may june 19 27 cent july 29 percent that was a great start to proceedings and you can see the breakdown by the um, individual trades there on the right hand side and the monthly percentage returns you know 19% to start with 27 29 9 averaging out at 10% over the whole year so a great performance you know to silence those trolls and obviously make me a few pounds along the way so there you go, hope that's given you some insight in how to build a trading system and specifically using Renko to come up with you know, a winning formula. A lot goes into one of these systems, but it's going to be the same inputs that go into your ordinary trading. So I want you to take that away with you, that all of this 
you know you don't automate it like I've done here still needs to apply into your trading from the risk management trade management concept design mental model approach the whole lot now if you've liked the video and you want to learn more about Renko you're new to Renko then I'm going to show you how you can find out more about it right now so where can you find all you need to know about Renko charts well it's right under your nose all you have to do is stay on my YouTube channel it is all there now I've created a lot of different playlists around the world of trading but one of them is called learn technical analysis now if you click on the view um, playlist and you'll scroll down you find all the different types of technical analysis charts you want to learn from and lo and behold down there we've got one called learn Renko charts for trading so once you click into the video course what are you going to learn well there's about two and a half hours of free content six sections 45 lectures all delivered by me and I've been using these charts for over two decades in a professional capacity and you'll see the content all laid out for you where we go through absolutely everything from how they came to be to how you can use them with that western approach that i talked about how they can help your trading psychology how you build and construct these types of charts and that's a critical process to the success of them how you can use other indicators how you can build strategies how you can get in and out of the trade use all these other tools and create your own trading system all around it so there you go that's my course learn and master how to trade renko charts get the trading edge completely free on youtube get stuck in enjoy renko it is a fabulous chart type and now here is the link to that very video